Okay, hello, welcome to the video. Uh, I'm painting a portrait uh, of myself, self-portrait. I'm doing it in oil paints and you just saw then I'm painting it on a plank of wood because yeah, I, just, I like the look of the wood, truth be told. And I've already pre-splattered it with some red, reddy orange kind of paint. I've sketched out my face. I use the grid method where you, you draw a grid to help you map out the features of the face just because I wanted to make sure it'd be super accurate. And now I'm, I'm getting to painting. You just saw then my palette. I'm only using primary colours, red, yellow, blue, and obviously white. And I think I use a tiny bit of brown actually to do this portrait just to make things quite simple. So when I was mixing my colours, I only really had two to choose, not two, three to choose from. Uh, the reason I'm doing this portrait is because a while ago in foundation, we had a unit looking at colours and sort of abstract painting and just focusing on how colours interact with each other and what colours look nice next to each other and I, it inspired me and I, I just really wanted to try and make a portrait which included a lot more colour and had added the elements of the abstract painting with the portrait. It was something that I wanted to have a go at so yeah this is what it's about because you'll see later on I start adding, uh, I start going a bit wild with all the colours so, so buckle your belts for that. This is actually the first portrait I've painted in a very, very, very long time. Last portrait I painted was in my A-level art exams, which was, uh, I, I shall find that information out. How am I finding this information out? Through my Instagram, my art Instagram, called Just Did You Do It. I'll link it in the description. I uh, recommend you follow it, because I put some good stuff on there. Um, anyway, it was, when did I upload? The 2nd of May since I've last painted a portrait. So it's been quite a while. That was um, 2019. <laughs> obviously. Anyway, what am what, what, what trying to say? My point is, I was a little bit apprehensive when I went, was starting this painting, just because I didn't know if I still had it in me, to be honest, to paint a portrait, because it's been so long. But, all in all, truth be told, very happy with the final result of it. And I think, really, it's one of the best portraits I've ever painted. Of course, there's always room for improvement, and there are a few bits, when I look back at it now, where I think, oh, could have could have done that a little bit differently. But, it's all right. Another reason I'm doing this portrait is because I don't know if anyone watches it, but there's a show on Sky Arts called Portrait Artist of the Year. And I thought, I'm just gonna give it a go because you have to submit a self-portrait to get onto the show. Been a dream of mine, so I'm giving it a go, but I don't really expect much to come of it because uh, the people on that show are amazing and they're like professional artists. So we'll see what comes of it, probably nothing. And that's that. And I'm okay with it because at the end of the day, you know what, I've made a nice portrait and it looks real nice on my shelf. <laughs> so that's, that's fun. Uh, I had this video made quite a while ago. I made it like at the beginning of this month, January, 2020. Uh, oh wait, hold on, happy new year to everybody. Uh, yeah, cool. I had this video made quite a while ago, but I lost the, like, my house is getting redecorated, all the upstairs. So in the mayhem of that, the wire for my microphone got lost, which meant I couldn't do the voiceover. So I had to order a new one and wait for that to come in. Uh, it took a while, but I managed to get it. So yeah, yay. I actually had this video planned to go up a long time ago, but you know, circumstances happen. I also am aware that it's been a, a very, very long time since I've made a video. The last video I made were the two videos for showing all my A-level stuff, which, well, very, very long time ago. Uh, I've since started Foundation, and one of the main reasons why I haven't made a video in so long is because Foundation art is just, oh, it's busy. I do not have a lot of free time. But hey, if you'd like to keep up to date with my shenanigans, I've mentioned it before, I'll say it again. I've got an art Instagram and I do actually keep that quite updated, um, unlike my YouTube, uh, putting things on there quite often. If you if you want to see what sort of things I'm doing, uh, and I say this every time I don't make a video for a while, but it's because I really do mean it, I do want to start making more videos, it's just finding the time to do that. But I'd actually quite like to start filming what I do in foundation a bit more, so maybe that will be something you'll see in the future. I don't know. Anyway, so they've painted the face, got that done, bing bang bosh out the way. As you can see, I've kind of left a few gaps in the face where I've let the red poke through. And that was one of the reasons why I painted the board red in the first place, because I thought it would contrast really well with the skin tone. Because if I would have painted the face directly onto the colour of the wood, it would have blended in too much because the colours are too similar. So I wanted to just have the colours poke through 
the skin because I was just like, I like the look. So moving on to my stripy top. In the picture that I took, I was just wearing, happened to be wearing one of my favorite stripy tops, and I just really like the way it looks. So I thought it'd be nice to include it into the painting and make it sort of a focal point of it. I used uh, oil paints for the face and the shirt and for the rest of the piece so the red background and what I'm doing now is all done in acrylics um, and all of my paints are by the brand Windsor Newton in case anyone would like to know. You can also see I like to water down my acrylics with water, <laughs> no way, because I like it, it makes them kind of translucent and gives them quite a textured look. Uh, before I started painting on the portrait I added a layer of glue to the plank of wood just to make it easier to apply the oil paint but then like this cool thing happened where when I started painting the watered down acrylic on top it kind of made all the uh, the the glue underneath kind of crack so you, you've, you'll see in a bit when I do the close-ups there's all like, these cracks in areas and I just I like the way it looks and it was a happy little accident so as you can see I've moved on to adding the blocks of colours and I didn't just pick these colours randomly I had a little bit of thought behind them uh, I just know oh, for some reason I've just really liked the combination of red and pink together that's like my favourite colour combination and then I added the blue because it contrasts nicely with the red and you, the colours also in the top so I wanted to bring that through you know so you'd see a bit more and then I just added a few browns and then creamish tones just so the piece wasn't too colourful and I also added a big block of pink down towards the bottom to make sure the piece wasn't too overcrowded and cluttered so there was a little space where your eyes could rest and there was just a little bit of nothing going on um, but yeah there you go that's a plank of wood with my face on it I <laughs> uh, hope you like the video and thank you very much for watching uh, it's been a pleasure <laughs> goodbye